Welcome to my allotment, Plot 3, North Warwickshire. Just been doing a bit of weeding under the uh, the onion cage. And uh, thinking the uh, leeks are looking quite good. But the ones that aren't been protected are really poor. So before I pulled them up, I thought I'd just show you. But the uh, the difference in the produce with that debris netting cover it, covering it is quite a difference. Those are the carrots that are covered. These are the ones in the box, which haven't grown very big, but they're uh, okay. And these are the ones on the carrot chitting experiment which I'll be doing a review maybe next week so I'll get these dug up and we'll see if we can find the little critters that uh, are doing the damage I've cut the best bits off and uh, you should be able to see these uh, little critters The two in there that are uh, nibbling away at uh, the leak. I'll be checking up on those, but uh, if that is the uh, leak moth grub, I know you'll leave me a comment. So I shall have to keep an eye on the main crop under the net. But uh, while uh, I'm waiting, I'm going to uh, clean up the leaks and see uh, what we can salvage. Well, that's all I've got left out, the two rows. Every one was salvageable, but I've had to cut more of the tops off to make sure I've got all the grubs out. Um, they look big, but they're not. But there's a few stews there. We'll just have a quick look round. You may have noticed last time that some of the tomatoes were going, uh, well the leaves of the tomato plants were going yellow. So uh, I've cut them off now and they're hanging on the support wire. I won't lose many, most of them they'll ripen up. Not as good as actually being uh, on the plant, but I'm happy with those. The F1 Carmin cucumber has done a lot better inside. Uh, it's been, it hasn't been affected by uh, any mildew. The one outside hasn't done so well. And it may be just a little bit behind. We'll have a look at that shortly. But uh, hiding down here, I've had two off already. I didn't see that one. But since I've stopped watering the peppers, they've done exceedingly well. And thank you to Marina. I'll get your name right this time. This cucumber plant is doing well again. I'm hoping to have all this netting all around the uh, eventually. So this is uh, cucumber long ridge. And I normally take them off when they're this size. still getting quite a few sweet peppers off here they're producing so many more now since I've stopped watering the 
the lettuce inside are just catching up a little bit now and this will be my last lot of lettuce it's the red and green variety that you can pick the leaves off I should be planting those inside and the celery it's 50-50 with that some are good, some are bad but there's plenty of them and uh, my yoga teacher she just juices them anyway cucamelons I'm going to uh, pick those now I'm going to pick them whether they're ready or not because I just can't figure out whether they're ready anyway they all seem to taste the same an acquired taste but I bet they're full of goodness so I'll get on and pick these I thought there was more on than that but uh, yeah, there's uh, three times as many still on there just waiting to uh, fill out so uh, I'll be sampling those later just thought I'd show you my friend uh, Incy and uh, well, Wincy's gone down there so that's Incy, no that's Wincy, so Incy Wincy my spiders but uh, they're uh, keeping the uh, white fly down anyway and you've probably seen in a previous video there's quite a few of those about really good to see Got a rogue broad bean growing. Interesting to see how that gets on. I will leave it. And the peas. No sign of any pods yet. These are the tomatoes that were planted directly into the ground and that's how I'm going to do my tomatoes in the polytunnel next year. It doesn't seem to have affected them at all. I've always planted my beetroot in seed cells first and it always seems to work and I've actually planted some in the ground and they've got overrun with weeds and it just seems not the best way you don't seem to lose so many So I won't be planting beetroot directly into the soil. I'll be use my usual method of in the seed trays first. I'll be potting these up as soon as I get a minute and hopefully I can improve the amount of plants I've got. This is the F1 Carmen outside. And there's the other plants. Not done overly well, but still producing uh, fruits. Tiny Tims, and then the money makers in the dustbin. 
in the gourd bed that's got 12 inches of compost. Which is building up nicely in there. Atlantic Giant in the leaf mould. It's had a splashing of fish poo this morning. And the spent compost, which I'll keep separate. Thanks for watching, everyone. Commenting. Thank you to all my new subscribers. And as always, leave me a comment so I can get information and so can everyone else. Take care everyone. Happy growing.